Number 39. How will an increase in the temperature affect each of the following equilibria? And then how will a decrease in the volume of the reaction vessel affect each? And then we have letter B. So in this case, they give us a balanced equation. So I'm just going to rewrite it a little bit bigger just so that we can work with it better. So I got N2 gas plus 3H2 gas. And this comes to equilibrium with 2NH3 gas. Okay, now with Le Chatelier's principle, they're talking about equilibrium and then they're changing, you know, things that, you know, obviously they can change like temperature, pressure, volume, and concentration. So since we're increasing the temperature, decreasing the volume, and we're seeing what's happening with equilibrium, that's Le Chatelier's principle in a nutshell. Now, in order to make it easier, what I'd like to do is I just like to take this delta H value and just talk about it in terms of heat. Now, remember when we did enthalpy, right? We said that negative values are always exothermic. Does this matter that it's negative 92.2? Absolutely not. I just care that it's a negative value. And remember, exothermic means that you are releasing heat. So in terms of the heat, is it on the reactant or the product side? You're releasing it, so it's going to be always on the uh, product side if it's exothermic. If it's endothermic, it's on this side. So that's the difference. Now, since I just said the word heat, I literally can get rid of this. I don't need it. And then I have everything that I need right here and I can answer my questions. So let's get to it. We want to increase the temperature. So what does that mean? Well, according to Le Chatelier, and sometimes, or definitely for me, according to me, <laughs> If it's too hot, if you're increasing the temp, right, and it's way too hot, you are not staying out in the heat. You are going away from the heat. If it's a really hot day, right, and it's way too hot, I'm not going to be outside. I'm going to be inside, and I'm going to be inside doing these videos. <laughs> so if it's way too hot, we go away from the heat. Literally, we go away from the word heat. Here is the heat. If we're increasing the temp, I don't want to go toward the heat. I want to go away from the heat. So there is your shift. We're going this way. So I'm going to shift left. Now, what does that really mean? That means that if you're going in this direction, your reactants will increase and your products will decrease. That's it. Next one we're decreasing the volume. Okay, so according to Le Chatelier's principle, if you are lowering the volume, remember volume is just talking about the space inside of a container, or in this case, a reaction vessel. If you're decreasing that space, if you're lowering the volume, you have less space. So if you have less space in an area, you don't want a lot of stuff in it, you want less moles. So you'll always shift to the less mole side. But just be careful, it's always the less moles of the gas. So just make sure, but all three of these are gases, so I'm going to take all three of them into consideration. We just have to tally up how many total moles of gas are on the left side and on the right side. Look at those coefficients. There was nothing in front of the N2, so that means that there was one, and there was three H2s. So when I add this up, one plus three, I have a total of four moles on my reactant side, and since here I only have one product, I got two moles of that, so I have two total moles. You will always shift to the less mole side. Two is less than four, so I'm going towards that lower number. So in this case, I'm going to shift this way. So I'm going to shift to the right. And then if we're shifting towards the right, that means that this side will now increase and this side will now drop. That's it, guys. And there's your two answers. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let's keep going. Let's keep crushing our tests and quizzes. And I will see you all in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.